So now we're going to take a couple seconds stretch break. All right. <laughs> so please stretch, 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 stretch. All right. Now go to this way. <laughs> that way, everyone. And now to the left. Stretch. Oh, all right. And now give a pat to the person next to you. <laughs> pat to the person next to you. If someone's next to you, if you're by yourself, give, give a pat to yourself. All right. Because we're going to hear the main uh, speaker, which is the vision speaker for tonight. And he is such a young person. And his name is Martin Han. So he is, he's, yeah, 29 year old. He basically, he got financial freedom in just a few years. And he's going to share his secrets to success with us. All right. So if Martin Han can come up, he's our Sharon Rose Master. Hello. Hello. How are you guys doing? I hope I can give some sort of secrets, but more as if uh, my life story into this thing and maybe a couple of hints that can help out uh, for everyone's business. I hope everyone's doing okay right now during this, um, uh, during this pandemic. I hope everyone's safe and have lots of food at home. Uh, and maybe we can take this time to really realize what we could utilize in, for residual income, but is also to see what we can prepare just in case this type of um, event had ha happens in the future. Uh, so everyone, my name is Martin Hahn. I am currently a Sharon Rose Master from Charlotte, North Carolina. Hello, hello, hello. All right, so uh, I'll be getting up a screen uh, sharing in just a moment here. Let me, um, here we go. Before uh, Adam me actually, when, since I was little, uh, I used to play drums. Yeah, I, I still, still to this day, I always think about like, oh man, what if I actually was uh, thinking about if I could have joined a band and be part of the Rolling Stones or something or something like that back in the day. Um, this is a picture of me. This is most like the only picture of me because uh, um, in middle school, I got a chance to be in marching band all, all the way through high school since the eighth grade to 12th grade. And my mother, she was always working, so didn't really have pictures with her. So, yeah. oh, well, this is one good picture that, that actually proves, yay, marching band, right? <laughs> but also, um, that kind of turned into, because I was always outside, uh, I started to have symptoms of allergies, uh, from pollen to different types of fruits and nuts, like mangoes, peaches, pears, all types of uh, these symptoms are happening to me, even dust. And so I, I started to become allergic uh, to a lot of different things. And then someone, my mother, had introduced me to Hemohem. Uh, so the, the Hemohem, which I didn't want to take at all, it was just, a, I didn't really, I, I, it smelled like it, my grandma used to make when I was little and it stunk up the whole house. Um, hold on, let me just get the screen going here. And, and, I, it took like a month to take this thing. So if any of us who are, who are brave enough to take it right away, I'm so proud of you guys. It took me quite a while. And luckily my mother, she was not going to kill me with that, right? So then, yes, I started taking it. So I started taking it in college twice a day. Um, and towards, is the screen working? Am I frozen? Am I the one frozen? I know. Okay. So then going through the whole time of throughout college, I was just treating this thing twice a day. And then, <laughs> so then one, one more going through, the next one would have the, the hemohem that my mother had introduced me to and going, and that helped me a lot with my allergies. So I'm going to click this, I'm going to click this uh, slide tw two times to go to the next one there. That's okay. And somehow I was actually um, able to enjoy the rest of my college uh, without, uh, without any allergic reactions to my allergies of fruits such as peaches, apples, pears, mangoes, and even towards all types of nuts, and even the pollen. Like this hemohem really helped me out all the way through college as well. And thankfully, I was able to graduate. Oh gosh, I was finally able to graduate with, uh, definitely there was other degrees I could have gone for, but I ended up with economics. I ended up with economics there, right on the next slide. I'm supposed to click on, and it's it kind of slow for me, I apologize. But from the next slide there, um, yes, I finally had graduated and I got into different types of companies from a distribution hub uh, for an energy drink company 
and as well as a brand ambassador. And then I started to work in a, in a, um, in a downtown Fortune 500 company, uh, in an energy, energy company for solar and wind power, actually. And this is only one picture I have up over there that I finally was able to gather. And then somehow, you know what? It was kind of fun. It was interesting. And I had no idea that now maybe this could be my career. I could go into this type of company, you know. And luckily, they had some fun. And they had some Halloween costume time. This isn't Cat in the Hat. This is actually some Asian guy in a cat in a white and red hat. So if you guys know Cat in the Hat, don't be, don't be so sad about who's coming back. All right. So then while I was actually working into these, um, into these semi, uh, in these companies, my mother was actually telling me to come to these two meetings, her meetings over and over and over again. And I ended up coming to one of these that actually she told me to help translate or read the subtitles for the CEO, Mr. Han Gil Park. Now, Mr. Park, uh, I thought it'd be really fun because every time I went to these seminars, everybody was twice my age. You know, everybody was like either two times or three times my age. Nobody was actually my age. So you know what? I'll make it fun for them. Maybe it was a little bit different. And so I tried to read just like the CEO did. And he said something like, he said that there was a red ocean in, in, the, in the two slides coming through. He said that there was a red ocean and that people make three to $7,000 a month. And I'm thinking, wow, I never actually really heard of this before. I was never really an entrepreneur. I was really never into network marketing. I, I tried to get my mom out of this pyramid scheme of this company called Adamine, right? So I thought maybe, you know, this is something different. I was actually in the pool and I had a fight to stay afloat in this job. Uh, and then there was a blue ocean where people were actually um, making six figures and pe not many people are actually looking to stay there to get to that position. I thought it would probably take me like five to 10, no, maybe 10 years later because I, I could possibly even get to a different, um, a different company or me I need more qualifications. You know, so I was just stuck. I was stuck and I was a slave in this company I was in. I would go to work and I would get paid. If I don't go to work, I don't get paid. I only get paid, to, I only get off of work two times in a week. So I was, I was just stuck. There was nothing I could do and I'm not very good at, at a, you know, I didn't have a, a doctor's degree or engineering or different qualifications. I would have to go back to school again and have a master's degree in something to be qualified for more income. And I'm the kind of guy who does not want to do that. So, during this time, flashing forward, my mother had, had told me to come to a seminar in New Jersey. So I took a few days off of work, thankfully, and kind of lied about, you know, coming to help translate to this, to this uh, during the weekday. And there was, I got a bus full of Atomians. They're always ha they're all having fun and great. And I, and I asked people, you know, what got you interested? And they all first started was about the products. It was, it was um, an African-American gentleman. He, he actually said his, the hair and body set he doesn't have to wear grease anymore. His fro is coming back and it's a lot softer. And I was like, all right, well, this is pretty interesting. I, I thought I was the only one who was actually enjoying some things, but definitely people were on this bus that made me realize, hmm, it's kind of interesting. But we, it was a 13 hour drive to the seminar, to the seminar in New Jersey called the Success Academy. And, the C, and uh, someone was there actually, kind of just gave it away. Someone was actually there waiting. It was like one or 2 a.m. in the morning. And Mr. the chairman, Mr. Hangil Park was there. I had, you know, usually people who are famous, usually people who are the, the ones that the presidents of the company or something who, who you realize who, who you look high above, they usually come at the big event. They usually come and when, when everything is all set and ready, but he was there and, and waited for us. And I thought, wow, he was very humble, a humble and genuine, genuine guy. And I thought, man, this is a very different company. And I had to realize maybe there's more to this. Flash forward, I, I actually went to a seminar in Korea. Thankfully, I was able to go there. And there was like 2,000 people. I'd never been to a huge event like this before. And it was really great. And, and, and I got a wristband. A wristband, the seat number was 1990, which was my birthday. And I was like, whoa, this is pretty cool. I mean, is this meant to be or not? Like, uh, is this for me? Should I just jump into anime? Maybe this is my path. But I saved that sucker there. I saved it. And, and I came back. And you know what? My, people are in family businesses anyway. People are all in family business, restaurants or other business out there in, in landscaping out there. People do this thing with their family. So why not, why not quit my job and get into this business with my mom? Because she was going crazy at it. So I just quit. I quit and it was a definite, definitely different risk I was going to take, but I didn't know what I was getting myself into. A, a 
brighter future. I didn't know. Cause I thought, you know what, jump into this thing. I could help my mom. I could drive for her. She doesn't drive too well. Cause, because she had to go to many places when it was thunderstorming. So, you know, I could do that. Why not? I can see well, I can drive well, jump right in. And I try to help her out as much as I can. But I realized, you know what? People go into these seminars and these meetings that, that were people at twice my age and stuff, right? They were always talking about customers and they were always talking about, oh, this one person here had a great testimony because they were introduced by this product or that product. So I was like, man, I need to get products too. I need to get products as well and to try and get those customers as well. So that's what I did. I got, I got products as right in the next slide come. I got products there and I gained customers. I, I, I did it on my own in a way and not many people, I couldn't get a lot of pictures taken of me doing it, but I tried. I really tried to have here and there and who talks about skincare? What 24, 25, 26 year old guy goes around talking about skincare. I love using it and my skin was glowing. So they kind of trusted me. I went to like hair salons, nail salons, dry cleaners. I kind of went around even to flea markets. And thankfully, I was able to get customers and they introduced me to more customers. I mean, I even gave facials to a gentleman over there in the right corner. Who does that, right? I mean, I don't have a license to do it, but I know how to use the product. So they trusted me and I showed them how to use it. From there, it turned into, you know what? This is great. It's going great. There's points are accumulating, but they were always talking about coming into a system and doing all the system stuff and seminar stuff. So thankfully, okay, I got customers, but you know what? Maybe it's about the system as well, which is about seminars. So about seminars coming through, thankfully I had a chance to actually be a part of the person to bring people from Korea, uh, to show for people from Korea who, who back then and still now that a lot of them were successful. This is the very first picture I have of the, that back then was a royal master. Now she and him, uh, the husband and wife is a crown master. Me Young Park was my very first seminar tour around. I did a seminar every single month from, five, from the whole week, toured about four to five to sometimes six different seminars around, even on a Saturday, you know, I mean, come on, it was on a Saturday, right? And, and I realized the very first, um, the last night before she left, I realized, you know, she's in a different line, a different business. She came from Korea to show her way of success. And, 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 I, and, and I understood a, li, um, a whole, you know, I was with her for a whole week and I understood, wow, it's Adamie's not just about money making, not just about trying to be successful, but it's also gathering people together and, and trying to get back, uh, gather a huge family. And it's about a different type of love. And I was like, wow, this is actually really different. So thankfully, uh, you know, I went, to, I started to do this and I, and I met so many successful individuals every single month i drove around like crazy to other seminars and and i met so many people these people are crown masters now there's there's royal masters there's star masters in there you know and, and even a young uh, a young person as well that i met as well too and then during these seminars one really big thing that stuck out to me after i went to almost like 200 of these i would go to them i would have the speakers and i would have the setup and, and projectors and and at the time, and I was grateful to try and help out with that. And I realized, oh, if I keep on doing this, maybe, maybe there's more to this thing. You know, it's not like they're paying me. Some people, they thought I was an employee, but no, I was doing this so that I can support partners in different ways. But one lady on the bottom right-hand corner there, one lady, she was a star master when I was, and she came with her kid. And one thing that would stay with me forever is that when she came here for a whole, well, she was traveling for a whole month, she actually was promoted to a royal master during my time of driving her around to seminars. And I was like, hold, oh, how does she do that? How does she become from a star master to a royal master when she's not even in Korea? And it was happening between my eyes and I was so happy and thankful for her. And I was telling her kid, you have no idea what she's doing right now, but she's doing it for you, young, young man. And he's like, 13, he's like 10 years old or 11 years old. And I, and I realized, man, if the system is constantly going around over and over again, and if he, she had duplicated something for her to be in any other country where Adam is, and if it goes really well, she's able to do very, uh, we are all able to do something just like she did. And I, and I didn't have that many good, you know, uh, type of talent to do something. You know, I, I didn't like to present. I didn't like to talk in front of people a lot. And I just got used to it because it was repeating the same thing over and over again. When my mom had told me to come to these meetings over and over, and I had helped her to present over and over. So it made, it just became a routine for me. Something like this, you know, 
these, uh, these seminars is what made this thing change. These online seminars, before we had to go to these, literally drive to them, go to them, but now we're about an online, uh, online time frame. It was online for a while, but now we really realize it's online. A lot of us who, who have been um, thinking about, you know what, we have to meet the people. Well, let's try and bring them into these seminars and try and feel like, what, what does the seminar do? What does it have to offer? And I had experienced not only me, but it was just very tough for one person like me to, to, have, to share about anatomy. But if we bring them to these seminars, they will hear little details. They're going to hear something that, just like today, a great testimony of, of, of something that happened, which is very tragic in, a, tragic in a way, but something that helped out. Maybe something like that would realize, oh, maybe this product is not that bad, or this business plan that was very, uh, very graciously presented. Maybe it's not that bad to just become a member, to just take, you know, use some products, or something where they can hear, not just from what you say, but from what others say as well. And not only that as well too, these things that these seminars have to offer are not just something where, oh, uh, maybe it's just only the talented people, only the ones who have great personalities, only the ones who, 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 are, um, who are gonna be you know, uh, jumping into this early are the ones who are successful. No, when we, were at, when we come to seminars, I personally have realized, man, if they can do this thing, I can do this as well. People are showing their success to one another I'm not successful yet. I am on my way to success. And hopefully I can really knock on everyone's heads who are not twice my age, but around my age, can to realize this is something that it could be in your in, in the plan B or even towards plan A. And not only that, too, these seminars, they show something that what we we can't do ourselves. They bring people together, they show the details, they show the success. But for me, there are so many other friends that really wanted me to go work with them in their other businesses that, or do a business with them. Or maybe in a whole, they said, oh, come work over here in a year. You can make six figures. Man, this sounds great too. And within just a year. But I realized every time I come back into these seminars, my mind stays focused. I'm focused right back into the, into the anatomy because this is like, it, it, can be, it became something that was less risky. If I, what, what if I was working in a company or that business what happens now? Just in case it was a 50-50 and, and me to try and realize it's different um, path for me. But what if I just have anatomy? What if I just have anatomy and I stay focused in this way? Hey, these seminars is what brought and fueled my fire in. These seminars are extremely powerful. We have no idea what, these things, what this is doing over and over again. I, I've been, I've been a bit, I quit my job about five, this is my fifth year I quit my job and I'm doing this, but it, it's taken me a, a process, a time frame. Other people can do this faster. Other people, they, have, they take the time. But no matter what, these seminars that we gather together, local meetings, seminars, it's extremely, extremely powerful for all of us to join in on here. And I really hope that once we do this, something big will happen. Something big will happen. And our CEO said something. He said something as if, uh, as when we become an auto sales master, Early, we heard a sales master, we have 700,000 points in our account and 2.5 million points on both sides during a certain period of time, right? The beginning of the first 15th, 16th, the end of the month. But something called an auto sales master, what exactly is that? And I just want to condense it down. An auto sales master is basically just consumers automatically purchasing independently. They're just consumers that are doing this over and over again. And Atomy, as we realize, it's a consumer business in a way. And you can push it to having more consumers because in any business, in any business you have, you must have customers. Let's just say you, you have invested in a business. I'm going to say, you know what? I'm going to call it Marky, Martin's Cookie Shop. I'm going to have pineapple cookies. I'm going to have pumpkin cookies. I'm going to have sweet potato cookies, all types of cookies. And I'm grand opening, you know, May 11th. And, and I'm going to tell, and I'm going to have this huge grand opening. And I'm going to tell the closest people I know, which is my friends and family, to come in here and enjoy my cookies at Martin's Cookie Shop. I'm not going to say, you know what? I'm gonna, I can't wait to franchise this to my, to my brother. I can't wait to franchise this to, to my mom or franchise this business out or tell, tell them about, oh, doing this business called Martin's Cookie Shop Plus One. It's not about showing it for business right away. If we try to create automatic consumers over and over again, no matter what we do, they will purchase themselves automatically. That something there is more powerful than thinking than telling them to do business or not, because they're definitely going to say, 
oh, I don't have time for this today. Oh, I'm not sure if I can, if I can, if I can come to this meeting today. Oh, or um, I'm not sure if I could join or not. I'm not sure if I want to do this business. Well, maybe that person's not good fit for this business because he's not good at speaking in front of everybody. It's not about that. Have we said that whenever we, whenever we signed up for any of those online de uh, departments, uh, the A store, the C store, the B store, all these stores out there, the S store that we normally go to for a wholesale company, these things we go to become a member and we purchase whenever we want. And this is what we automatically do over and over again. So our CEO, our CEO Mr. Han Gifford has said, if we become an auto sales master, we, we will be 90% successful in this business. The ones who are creating this over and over again. So if we have heard this or we've heard, if we have not heard this at all, what can we do to try and create an auto sales master, uh, to try and create an auto sales master ourselves? Well, first on doing this business, we must have our name list. We must even maintain or have this name list. If you did it before, do it again. Try it again just one more time. Because our CEO said, talk to one person 10 times. If you do it 10 times, you basically talk to them one time. And I have failed many times. I registered over 300 people just back to back over and over again, but I forgot, and I forgot to create a name list. So I created a name list and then I went from there, but that created, you know what? If I, if I sign up these people, I have to follow up with them. I have failed following up over and over again. That's one thing I, I do regret. If I started from, if I had signed up, let's just say 20 people or 50 people, I forgot to go back to the very first one the very first 10, the very first 15, the very first three. If we do this over and over again, you can sustain each and every one of them. This righteous company, as we just heard, is that we take advantage of this unlimited opportunity of levels. We have this company that's just so beyond our limits, but we think of it so lightly. It's unlimited because we can have unlimited members, but don't, we can't lightly feel as if we register them so easily. But if we take care of them over at one person by one person, and we can have unlimited of these consumers back to back to back, that is more, more powerful. And that will create you, create the all sales master very quickly now. This is my, uh, so with following up though, by going back to the first 10, 20, 50, 100 or so, what are you gonna do? You can either call them, or maybe go see them with a mask on right now, Call them, FaceTime them, or even message them in a way just to see how they're doing or even in buying them in a certain way. But it's not just about trying to say something, hey, how's it going, what you're using. There's a process. When we, when we introduce this way and they use something, if they become a good consumer, I focus on the good consumers and I realize, you know what, I can teach them to register, to purchase online all around on the website and to also register others as well. If they do this, if that one person knows how to register themselves or register other people, purchase themselves, and to just show other people the website, if we do this over and over again per person, that will create a more powerful base for us to increase to another level. And what is that doing? What am I doing that I heard from my sponsors over and over again, or even from the CEO over and over again? He's trying to duplicate the process. He's trying to duplicate this thing over uh, repeatedly. Because he's, trying, he's telling us to create this name list, or we've heard to create a name list over and over again. And then he told us to try and follow up with them. And then, you know what, just to kind of, there's more to this auto sales mastery, but to simply put this thing, if we repeat the process of having someone register themselves, knowing how to do that, and, and also uh, purchase things online, then that is going to create, uh, and that will also create a duplication. Tell them to teach them to do that as well too. This one coming through, next one there, yep. And then once we have this process in here, we want to invite them into our seminars and our meetings to, to just like this right now too. They might not know what, the, what others, um, good thing about ginseng had, ginseng had today or another good testimony that, that they might know from, from the hemo hand. These other seminars that we try and invite people to, if people don't wanna come, they don't have to. I mean, I, I've invited so many people over and over again no one came my first like year, maybe like one person after like a whole, like a whole year, someone finally came to a big success Academy. And I was like, yes, I've got two people coming. Yes. I'm so excited. This is great. Finally, I'll see something. And then the next time it was like three people. And I did this. Sometimes it was just myself. I came by myself. Those seminars I went to over and over again, 
I've never missed a seminar in the past four or five years or so. I've always attended, even if it was myself, even if it was my own meeting I had, I attended myself. Even if they said, oh, no one's coming or no one's doing this, well, I still attended because it's my business and I must take, I must take responsibility of my meeting just in case one person comes up as well. And if we just duplicate this thing, we will try to create an all sales mastership and everyone, whoever does this, we will all reach to a certain position little by little or even increase it quicker and quicker. So with this year, I've actually experienced this uh, through someone personally and someone who I met many years ago. The first person I, I met actually was actually Jason Shim, uh, who, drove, who was driven down here. He came down here. I met him when he was a dime master. And this is the, his promotion that he had as well. I was, an, I was the host. I was MC for his, uh, for his and his wife's promotion as a royal master. So finally had a private time chance with them. And it was happening from, I mean, I, I, I met him from a dime master and I see him now. Like this stuff was happening, not only through someone I met, but someone who gave birth to me, my own mom. My mom, her name is Eunice Han Star Master. She became a Star Master as well. As well. She was a Sharon Rose Master, a Dime Master, Sharon Rose Master, and a Star Master. This woman here, I had no idea back in college, she would, she would swift for the floor and she would tell someone how to register someone on a Bluetooth. I had no idea. I mean, she didn't even know how to get on Yahoo before, but because she did the repeated process over and over again, I was on my computer playing some games and I heard like, yeah, you, you press... You press the join us button and you go through here and you press this and that. I'm like, what is she talking about? <laughs> How is she? So this thing happened in my own home and I'm so glad I'm able to be, uh, be part of this, to do this process, to be persistent because I was persistent. It took me a couple of years just to get to a Shan Rose master, but thankfully I got there just last year. Finally, I got there. It took me a second, but I realized it's a push, but might as well maintain this and to try and show people Look, it's happening. Someone through my own eyes, someone through my own, who, who, laid, who laid me is actually, this is happening. And, and through my own life as well. So I'm so thankful to be part of this company called Adamy. And there's nothing to be, to, um, to be even, um, uh, nothing that I can hide that this company has. Like it's, it's so open that I just feel so, so happy to share this thing all the time. Nothing like, oh, no, I'm not sure if you wanna know about Adamy, but I'm very grateful to be in this company that's, that's going beyond what we thought about, would really change our lives. Not only this there, we here in Anatomy, or in general, in life, we are all born to succeed in, in many different ways. We are all, all. So what I'm trying to say is my success plan that I want to try and get to, I'm just gonna say, why not? If it doesn't happen, it might not happen. But I want to become a Leaders Club member, which you earn over $100,000 a year, by December 1st, 2020. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. I'll, I'll try again and again and again. Things are happening and maybe I can create this goal for myself just so I can push myself because if I don't create my goal for myself, then I can't push it. I can't push this way. And if my partners don't push themselves, then if, it, if they don't have goals either, then they won't push themselves. Then also trying to create and make sure that everybody would understand and study Atomy. Atomy doesn't just have toothpaste. We're not salesmen. Guys on here, and we are our members on here. We are in a $1.2 million business. We actually make $100,000 a month. And if you're just joining as a member right now or are still a member, we are in a business of $1,200,000 in the whole year. This is what we can claim from Atomy. No wholesale store is going to do that, do this. And if we study what Atomy is, distributing products, we tell people, we share it, great. But if we try and show them and really confidently, persistently do this system back to back repeatedly, we are going to be in a, in a success way. And I'm trying to get there over, I'm trying to get there and trying to show people, this is a great way to be, have income as well too. And what, and what can we do to get that, to get there? It's to duplicate an auto sales master. Now, like our CEO said, we will become successful if we, if we become an auto sales master. And no matter what, duplicate that. So we are all in this business now and we are, we can, even if we just signed up right now, there is a limit of that amount and we are all going to succeed. So we are born into Atomy to succeed, no matter what, you know, matter if we don't have talents or not, young ones jump into this business. If you know anybody who's 18 years and older, I'm going to say, I mean, I've been in the seminars 
they were all like in their in their two times my age, three times my age. Whoever the ones who are two to three, two or three times my age, find people who are younger. They are going to grow this as well. Young ones, we can take over America. Why not even take over other countries as well too? We are going to get. I'm saying 18 to. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say uh, anyone older than 18. Okay, we can get to this there. It's our time. It's a new generation. It's this. It's a different society of in anatomy, and we can circulate this business around. We are the future of anatomy. We are the ones who can really grab a hold of this. No matter what, the future is going to be ours through anatomy. This company here, this billion dollar company just started. It just started. We are finally in this, in this huge boat, in this company that's, that, that's like a Titanic called anatomy, right? And, and the chairman, Hangul Park, is on there. He's a, he's a captain of our ship. He's the one who's sailing away on this huge boat. We can jump on this, be a part of this. No, we can be a part of it, but we don't have to. But we, man, we can use this, use the supplements they have, the daily things they have, or we can actually make money like we need anyway. It's not like some of us, we don't need money. Great, but other people do. What is money? It's, just, it's a currency so we can use it to, to survive. We're not going to trade our phone to go eat at Burger King. We're not going to trade our tablets to, to you know, buy a house. It's not about trading. It's about buying with currency. What is that? It's just dollars or other currency out there. In other countries, 14 other countries, people can actually earn their income. And that income can be part of you from this company as well. And I'm glad I started you know, within five, six years ago. But I wish, I regret, I, I wish I started when my mom a few years before had told me on the kitchen table, Martin. You have, you become an agent, 300,000 PV. You have the same amount on your left and right hand side. You get that amount. I wish I started there. I wish I did. And I thought about it so small, but that 60, 70, that 60 bucks, I had no idea how powerful it could be. I had no idea it could grow into something bigger because you start somewhere to get to your higher position, to get to that norm point to even 20,000 a month. I'm sure that we can get to this position no matter what. It's a marathon, ladies and gentlemen, to get there. And I hope we are all going to be in this history of a different society of success. So welcome to Atomy, the next level of distribution. Thank you very much for listening. Wow. Thank you so much, Martin Han, our Sharon Rose master. Wow. Did you feel his passion? <laughs> yes, man. Wow. He was giving his all i hope you felt his you know just genuine honest uh the sincerity of working in this business how it's been beneficial to him what kind of opportunity that has given him as well and that he can give you and because he didn't give up you know he hit a lot of obstacles and i know many of you are hitting different obstacles as well but it, you know, giving up is the only way to failure. And we don't want to give up. We don't want to be a failure. Uh, but every time you do, even though if you never give up, but let's say you do hit obstacles and you fall down, the, you know, the point is you just get back up and then you just learn and then you improve. And basically you will become an imperial master if you just don't give up. Thank you so much for such an inspiring a story and even your baby picture, you know, <laughs> as well. Uh, just, just showing your life, your personal life as well. Thank you. And let's give him a hand one more time. Thank you so much.